Hi, I'm Chad, and you're watching 9 to 5 to Life Off Grid. And in this video, I'm going to show you how I clear a good sized portion of our land in just one weekend and get rid of all the brush with no heavy equipment. Stick around. So, you notice how I have this pile laying here with the bigger end all at one end and the brushy leafy part the other end, leafy part. It actually makes it so much easier to drag out, keep control of. So when you delim them, have one of your kids or yourself pile them up, all the same end. And then if you do have a tractor or something, you get a big pile, you lay them all on top of a tow rope or something, a rope, tie it around it, you can just drag them away. But for me, I'm just pulling them over here to a spot to where I'm gonna be burning them. Oh, is that looking good got it all that brush picked up it was so thick in here you couldn't even walk through there so over here is what I call my staging area see I have a big brush pile here and I have one away from it back there and these bigger ones are here I got to cut up for firewood so when you throw your bigger pieces of brush where you're gonna burn them. Like I said, you leave the butts all at one end. So I leave these hanging out and I delim them because these are actually perfect size for campfire. So what I'll do is I'll cut them up into logs, cut them right off, and I leave the brush tops right in there where I'm gonna burn them, kind of next to my water source here because I don't wanna start the woods on fire, but anyway, so what I do is I'll pile them up right here, kind of about back beside our shed area. I'll pile all the um, delimbed wood that I'm gonna cut up for campfire wood right here. And as it lays here, it actually dries out pretty good. So as I need firewood, I'll, camp firewood anyway, I'll cut it up into smaller pieces. So anyway, this pile right here you don't want to get too big. You want to make sure it's away from trees because if you notice that pine tree right there, we had a fire here before we burned a pile and it started uh, killing the pine, which that tree's coming out anyway, but you don't want to start anything on fire. So what I do is I'm going to take this big uh, fancy looking blue tarp here and I'm going to cover my brush pile. I'm going to put it over it. I'm going to put some... Uh, limbs on it to hold it down i'm gonna wait i'm gonna wait until it rains once it rains and gets everything saturated really good around it all the trees and all then sometimes while it's raining or if it's just sprinkling then i'll pull the tarp off so then i have a dry pile of brush everything else is wet so i could start that bad boy on fire and not burn down the forest works out good and that's how i get rid of the brush pile And over here, 
we got pine here. A lot of people don't burn pine in their house, in their wood stove, for heat source because it um, clog up your chimney. But we actually use it for campfires. Works pretty good. So what I'll do is I'll delim them. Throw the limb in our staging pile because this pile is getting a little on the large size and we don't want nothing crazy going on out here. So as it burns down over here, we grab from this pile, throw on this pile, and we feed the fire all day. And by the end of the day, all your brush is gone and you got a pile of firewood for your campfire. working your butt off clearing the land always reward yourself with good food and yes steak once again actually uh, I've had steak every night for the past uh, four days now so far I got about three hours into the day so far I started kind of late in the day and I actually um, a couple weekends ago cut down the first those little trees that I first pulled out that you seen I cut those down a couple weeks ago and that probably took 20 minutes to cut all those down so you seen how fast we cut all these down so yeah pretty much I just need to uh, finish cutting these up in chunks drag it out and we got quite a bit cleared out today it's amazing what you can do by yourself if you just uh, take time to do it. You're, you're your own machine. You don't have to be strong or anything. You don't have to drag out big, huge piles. Just drag out a little bit at a time. And a little bit goes a long ways. All right, as you can see, I got the bigger pieces all brought over to the, uh, beside the shed over here so I can cut up into campfire wood later. And I got my tarp over my brush pile and I threw some pine trees on top of it just to hold it down so now we're just hoping for rain it was supposed to rain today but now it's saying it's not supposed it looks like rain but we'll see if not then I'm not gonna burn I'll just set up my staging piles out here a little bit so when it does rain maybe I'll put another tarp over one of my piles yeah it's looking good. A couple weeks ago, when I cut those first little bit down, you weren't even able to see anywhere past this creek. This is so thick in here, you couldn't even walk over there. As you can see in the this video right here. <laughs> kids were actually cleaning the creek up a little bit which I've kind of messed it up a little bit but um as you can see if you look behind them in that video in this video it was all pretty much thick <laughs>
here is the rest of the wood that I cleared today. I cut down a bunch more. No more staging piles. This is it. It'll be burn up before the night's done. It's nice and wet out still. Luckily, it's a lot of pine, so it burns easy. Check it out. Got all the way up there all cleared out. Dropped a bunch more trees in here. All up to the top of here. Yeah. You can see way back there. Got to get all those bunches out from around that big tree. They're all kind of tangled up in it. Before I cut them down, I gotta figure that out. All those are gonna come out. So we got a view. That way the sun can come this way. Well, it's almost midnight. I decided to take advantage of the rainy day. I cut down a whole bunch more out there. And uh, this is the last of it getting burnt right now. So it burns down I got to keep moving it on top of each other I want to make sure it's all burned up so I don't have any pieces of wood laying around way by morning it's all gone oh I'm wore out what a day <laughs>